Good morning, Sunbeams. It's Sister Daniels. I'm super happy to be with you today. I have a great story to tell you from the Book of Mormon. It's a little sad, but it has a good part at the very end. This is a Benedi. And this is King Noah. King Noah was a wicked, wicked king. He was an awful ruler. He was very selfish and he did not love his people. He led them to be very wicked. So the Lord sent the prophet Abinadi to tell King Noah and his people to repent and turn to God. Abinadi warned them that if they didn't repent, their enemies would conquer them. So they were really mad about what Abinadi said, and they wanted to kill him, but the Lord protected him. The king told his people, Abinadi needs to be brought to me so I can kill him. So Abinadi went and hid for a couple of years, and then he came back in disguise among Noah's people. And he told them that because they had not repented, their enemies would conquer them. If they did not repent, they would be destroyed. So the people were angry again, and this time they took him prisoner. They tied him up and they took him to the king, and King Noah had him thrown into prison. And then he met with his wicked priests to talk about what they should do to Abinadi. They called Abinadi in and they tried to confuse him by asking a lot of questions. But Abinadi spoke very bravely and answered all the questions. He told King Noah and his priests that they were teaching false things and they needed to repent. King Noah was very mad at Abinadi and he said, you are going to be killed. They tried to take Abinadi, but Abinadi said, touch me not. For God shall smite thee if you lay your hands on me, for I have not delivered the message which the Lord sent me to deliver. So Abinadi said, you better not touch me or the Lord is going to make you pay for it. I have a message for you. The spirit came upon Abinadi so strongly that his face shone with light. He spoke with the power and authority from God. He told King Noah about the Ten Commandments, and he taught them about Jesus and the atonement. And again, he said, repent and become righteous. After he had finished speaking, the king told the guards to put Abinadi back in prison, and he thought about what he was going to do. He gave Abinadi a chance to take back the words that he had spoken, and Abinadi said, I will die before I will deny the truth. I will die before I say the Lord isn't the savior of the world. King Noah was afraid then. He thought that Abinadi's words would come true and that he would die. The king was about to release him, but the wicked priest said, Abinadi is awful, he is spreading lies about you. The king became angry again and ordered Abinadi to be killed. This is the really sad part. Abinadi again told them they needed to repent and believe in God. He said that King Noah would die by fire. And after he said those things, he died, giving his life as a witness of the truth. Abinadi taught King Noah and others about Jesus Christ, even when it was scary. This is one of my favorite scriptures from this lesson. It's in Mosiah chapter 16, verse 9. This is talking about Jesus Christ. He is the light and the life of the world, yea, a light that is endless, that can never be darkened, yea, and also a life which is endless, that there can be no more death. I love that because Jesus is the light and life of the world. And Abinadi had that light with him when he taught. And even though Abinadi's part of the story has a very sad ending when he was killed, there was one person who believed Abinadi's words. And you'll have to tune in next week to find out who that is because we're going to learn his story. So one of the things that I love about Abinadi is that he was a valiant servant of the Lord. He kept his covenants. He stood for truth and right. The Lord could depend on him. And I'm going to sing you a song as I always do. The Lord needs valiant servants to do his work in the latter days who follow the teachings of Jesus 
and serve his people in a loving way. I can be his servant and keep my covenants valiantly. I'll stand for truth, I'll stand for right, the Lord can depend on me. So just like Abinadi, we can be valiant servants of the Lord. And this week, I would like to have you think about how you can share your testimony. Be brave like Abinadi and let that light shine from you. Share your testimony by words and by choices. And I'm going to tell you a quick story that happened in our family. It's about my daughter, Bobby, and we call her B. And when she was in school last year, there was a movie that was shown in class and there were some words in that movie that she knew our family would not use. And she knew that movie was a movie she should not watch. And she was brave and told her teacher that that was a movie she wouldn't watch. And she turned her back and did not watch that movie. And that was a hard thing to do because she was the only one in the room that was being brave and saying, this isn't a movie we should watch. We can all be brave like that. I want you to know that I believe that I can stand for truth even when I'm by myself. I know that I can have the light of Christ when I testify of the truthfulness of the gospel. And I want you to know that I believe you can do that too. And I leave you with this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.